Yo, what's going on everybody? Today we're gonna to be looking at the Sterling by Music Man Ray 4 Subseries Bass. Whew, that is a long title. We're gonna be looking at the ins and outs of the bass, how it sounds, how to get the most out of it, and also, is it worth it for the price? And I'm also gonna be doing a giveaway of this bass at the end of the video, so make sure you stick around until then. So, let's jump into it. So we got the Sterling Music Man Ray 4. Okay, this is a four string active bass. Now this bass is a little bit different than probably some basses I've played on this channel. It is active, but I've never actually had a bass that had a humbucker as a pickup, which gives it a little bit of a different tone than what you probably have heard on this channel before. It has a two band EQ, which is just the master volume, the highs and the lows. And then of course the jack right here is on the front. So this is an active bass, it has a nine volt battery compartment on the back where you can easily access and replace your nine volt battery. It also has a standard bridge open gear tuners, which is pretty normal for this style bass. Now this has a nice maple fretboard and a bolt on neck, which is really nice. So what's really cool about this bass, it's a little bit different for basses in this price range is that it has this really cool area for you to adjust your truss rod. This is a single action truss rod, which is adjustable right here at the top of the neck. Usually you would see adjustment right here where you have to stick a, a tool through and adjust right here. But right here is a kind of a better spot, I feel like. And I've heard that this truss rod responds pretty well when adjusted. So for a base that's around two to $300, this is built, <laughs> extremely well and can be modified to be even better. That's probably the one thing straight out of the box that I noticed that the build quality on this bass is super, super top notch for a two to $300 bass. This is really, you know, for this, most times they're not looking at build quality as being a priority, but I've noticed on here that the edges of the frets are very rounded and very nice and it doesn't really have much buzz and it feels pretty good. Now, I will say this straight out of the box, you're gonna probably wanna modify it if you're a gospel to R&B type player playing a lot of pop and funk music because the action's a little bit high for my taste, you know, whenever I first open it up. But if you're a beginner or something like that, don't, you know, worry, that's totally fine. But for all of my experienced players and you, you like a lower action, you can drop the action to this pretty low and it not buzz at all, which is super dope. I will say when you open this bass out of the box, there's a couple of things that you'll notice, especially when you plug it in. The output is really high, so it's really loud because it has that battery and it's an active bass, but I don't necessarily love the humbucker tone. I'm gonna be, be honest, I don't really love that tone. If it were me, I would probably, you know, modify my electronics just a little bit. I don't think it would take much or even just buy a better humbucker or pickup for this little spot right here. All right, so let's take a listen to what this bass sounds like. Here's gonna be me playing straight out of the box, not adjusting anything on the bass, no action or anything. This is just straight out of the box, completely dry signal, nothing on it. playing it a little bit straight out of the box, I noticed that the action was really high and it really wasn't very comfortable for me. I played it a little bit and got a little bit comfortable with it, but it still wasn't like what I'm used to and it didn't just feel great, especially for that gospel and R&B and funk style playing. So all I did is just lower the action just with one of the tools that came with the bass. And I just lowered the action, maybe like two turns on all of the strings and man, it changed the way I played this bass completely. So here's what it sounds like 
after I made my little modification to the action. So now let's see what this bass sounds like in context with other instruments in a track. So who is this bass made for? So I would say this bass is made for beginner to immediates. If you're a beginner player, you know, this will be a little bit of a high action, but it'd be good for you. It'd be good and it'd be nice loud bass if you, if you really uh, want a bass that is active, that's not a crazy amount of money. This is a great bass for that. This bass is also for people who like modding basses because this is just a great solid body really well built, great build quality on this bass. And you can change out pretty much anything you want to and I, it will respond pretty well to anything you do to it. So if you're a r and funk, gospel, you know, type player, don't be afraid of this bass. Even though it seems like, oh man, it doesn't sound amazing straight out of the box or it doesn't feel like r and gospel straight out of the box, doesn't mean it cannot be. So if you are someone who doesn't play rock or who doesn't really know this bass and you've only heard things about it in rock scene and all that kind of stuff, don't be afraid of it because you can mod it and make it feel amazing. So now the big question is, is this bass worth the price? It's $289 at the time of recording this video. I would, in my opinion, make some tweaks before I really start playing it and using it but it's really cheap and actually really, like all the tweaks that I did was free. So don't feel like if you buy the space, you're gonna have to immediately spend like another $100, $200 to make it feel good. All you have to do is tweak the action and probably change out the electronics if you don't like the sound of it, and that's it. So in my opinion, this bass is worth the price if you want a bass that you can customize and make your own, but also just have a really well-built bass. So if you're interested in more about this bass and more specs and different things, check out my link in the description where you can check out all the ins and outs of this bass in more of a detailed form. Now I'm gonna be giving away one of these basses and the way you enter this giveaway is just going to my website, travisdykesmusic.com and inputting your email right there on the homepage where it says subscribe to newsletter and get updates and all that kind of stuff. Put your email there and your name will be in the hat for the giveaway. I will be announcing the winner two weeks after this video is posted on my channel. So be on the lookout after you sign up. So if you guys have this base or have a base like this that you've modded before and you're just like, man, these are some of my favorite mods or anything like that, feel free, let me know in the comments because I may be doing a video modding this and I wanna hear what you guys do to yours so I can learn as well. So thank you guys. I will see you next time.